Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, I'm huffing and puffing, which is not unusual, but I'm pissed. Uh, got a Ford Fusion in here, and complaint is all the courtesy lights quit, as well as the moonroof, which was open at the time. Now I'm in there trying to check, customer says he checked all the fuses, they were fine. Uh, after huffing and puffing and twisting and turning and trying and trying, uh, I finally got the fuse out, which you see the little black spot, but I did check it. It is blown, but here's the problem. This is the fuse that's in it. Yeah. Here's a fuse that's in it. Here's a standard mini fuse. You see that? We got a special order of fuse. It's just a fuse. Not only do we have a special order of fuse, we got a special order of a few of them. Because why did it blow? I don't know. I can't even get in there to check it. I'll show you where this freaking thing is. For your convenience, we mounted the fuse box under the instrument panel, back inside of a hole, way deep. And we didn't put it in there sideways so that you can come out to it from the side and pull the fuse out, or flat against the firewall so you can come at it from the back and pull a fuse out. We mounted it in there crooked so that you can't get to it to test it. You can't get to it to pull a fuse out. It has that brace right there in the way directly straight off those fuses. And you can see the sides are sticking up a little bit. And since it's sitting at an angle, it's just slightly down in a hole to where if you try to put your test light on it, it's hitting the side and just skirting off the side of the fuse. I couldn't get a check on the fuses. I couldn't test them at all. Uh, I could have if I put my test light in a vise and bent the end of it, but I don't want to do that. Hardened steel is lovely to bust it off. What I did end up doing, because I couldn't get a good test on the uh, on the fuses to see if there was even any power in there, I had this deal that I made a while back to check uh, continuity in a transmission. It had male pins coming out of it and it was down in a hole two inches deep. So I fished these in there, crimped them onto a wire, fished them in there like this and lined it up. There was like 10 pins and I had to measure the continuity between two of them, reach all the way in there, get them slid up on there and then hold them over to the side a little bit while I used my other hand to check uh, the continuity on each side of these and, and then use my other hand to hold it onto the other side and then use my other hand to hold myself up and then use my other hand to hold the light and use my other hand to uh, hold the meter. Yeah, I was an extra in Star Wars. But what I did was I just jammed this on the end of my test light. That way I could bend this sideways like this and just reach in there and touch the end of the terminal. So at least I found out that I had voltage in there. That thing's blown pretty good. So I don't know what I'm gonna find. We're gonna have to get fused first. If it pops it immediately, yeah, I don't, I don't know where we're gonna go. Uh, but it killed a bunch of stuff. 
and uh, the trouble trees just talk in circles. Check this, check this, check this, check this. They don't tell you why. They don't tell, tell you what all everything runs. I mean, you're fishing through 14 different pages of stuff that it's very yes or no. You know, is there this here? Is there this here? They'll have you checking, you know, a connector that you have to take an hour to, you know, disassemble something to get to before they tell you to check this here that takes five minutes. I don't know. It's aggravating. But, you know, it's easy. It's easy. You know, I did it in 1960, so anybody can do it in five minutes. Freaking cars. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it around. We'll talk to you later.